Well, joining us now is Dr. Eric Feigolding. He's an epidemiologist and health economist and an adjunct senior fellow at the Federation of American Scientists. Good to see you again. Thank you. I, I want to just take some time now to reflect on the scale of this. I mean, you know, in one year, we've lost half a million lives in the U.S. to the coronavirus. How did we get here? It is so unfortunate. We got here because of the neglect of science, neglect of warnings, from our experts, neglect of the potential of this to become something much worse, and our willingness to tell ourselves sweet little lies that this will go away. You know, a year ago, uh, Trump advisor Larry Kudlow says this is contained and pretty much airtight. That was almost exactly a year ago, and today, half a million dead. And the lack of science and preparedness and testing and Every dimension of preparation has led to where we are today, and that is the ultimate tragedy that could have been prevented. Mm. And of course, we now have a new president um, sitting in the White House. Uh, how do you think th that changes things? Well, I think this president listens to scientists. He says uh, he made a promise in that vow. He uh, will not interfere in CDC decisions. He will allow Fauci to give public health guidance as he sees fit. And letting the science and public health lead the way in how to end this pandemic is so critical. And they're willing to mobilize and use federal coordination for vaccination programs, as opposed to leave it up to the states and local officials and then sort it out. Mm. I'll just ship you the vaccine, you solve it. That is not leadership, and that is what what we need is the national coordination that Biden administration will bring. Mm, a more stratified plan. No, no, we are seeing uh, the number of deaths drop, but it's still, Doctor, it took us only, what, a little over a month to get from 400,000 mark to now the 500,000 mark. What needs to happen for this trend to really, really slow down? Yeah, so last month we still had average over 3,000 deaths. What we really need to slow down is to accelerate the vaccination rates. And, you know, Israel has already achieved 50% of the entire population has received at least one vaccine, um, not you know, Israel. And compared to, compared to that U.S., you know, we're not, uh, we're not at 2 million um, uh, vaccines a day on average yet. We really need to get to 3 million and preferably 4 or 5 million to really stay ahead of the accelerating B117 mutation. It is a race. Mm. And... People think the, the pandemic is ending, but without enough mitigation, the more contagious variant will take over the U.S. and will start a new April-May surge if we're not careful. And it is definitely in the realm of possibility. Oh, my. Of course, we always have to be careful about that. But, Doctor, how do uh, we get better at vaccination efforts? What needs to happen in this country? Well, this is where, you know, public health messaging really matters. We need good, strong uptake, trust in the government, trust in our leaders, and the mobilization and willpower to roll it out and to prevent, you know, Texas kind of tragedies that also hurts our pandemic. You know, millions of doses, six million doses of vaccines were held up in Texas during that power outage uh, mess last week. We cannot allow that to happen. The federal government needs to take a strong leadership role and ensure every American gets it and it gets as fast as possible with minimal waste of vaccine slots. We continue to check in with you, Dr. Eric Feigl, during the whole year during the pandemic. We thank you for your insight as always. Be safe.